All right, guys, if you're trying to build your child's library with books that are both educational and entertaining, look no further. Calvin Denson is back on the beat to chat about his upcoming book signing. How you been doing? I've been doing all right. Thank you for having me. Thanks so much for being here. So let's talk about the good reads you have. Well, everybody knows about Bad Luck Felix. That I was, that's what I was here for last time. Mm -hmm. So tomorrow at Barnes & Noble, I will be at doing this book signing also with Bad Luck Felix. But Red the School Bus Driver is my new book. And uh, as you know, this is my mom on the cover. She was a kindergarten teacher here in Beaumont, Texas for, at Fell Elementary. So I'm writing five books in honor of her uh, to, to, uh, just because who she was. Mm -hmm. And it's about school bus safety. At the school that my mom teaches at, they're having trouble with uh, school bus safety. So she p decides to read the book, read the school bus driver to the class at story time on the alphabet mat. All right, let's talk about some of the school bus issues we're gonna find in that book. Well, it's five rules I have in the book, like five joking rules, such as uh, when you get off the bus, watch, look both ways and stuff like that. Uh, no fighting, no biting. Mm -hmm. uh, always wear your backpack, hold a uh, handrail when getting on the steps so you don't slip and fall. But I use it, I do it in a rhyming way and it's just fun and all the kids are responding real well to the book and it just, it's just very exciting. Amazing. And then that's not the only one. Good. Bad luck, Felix. Mm -hmm. That's really been getting popular. Yeah, it's doing real good. Uh -huh. All the books are doing good, but Bad Luck Felix is doing good. Like, this book is written in honor of my mom because it's pink and she passed away of cancer. Yeah. Today is her birthday. Happy birthday, mom. I love you. <laughs> and uh, to my daughter, to Reese Santos, happy birthday, too. And uh, it's just about a, a, a little girl named Chloe who visits her mommy on the first day of school. And I thought, what better way to start off my children's book series is to write about a little girl or boy missing their mom because I miss my mommy. Oh, no matter how old you are, mom is always missed. So let's talk about just your journey with writing these books. Obviously, your inspiration is your mother, um, what she's been through in the classroom, and just different lessons for children. But how has the reception been? How have you been in terms of just people embracing the work? It's just ama amazing when I started writing. I told myself, I'm, I know I'm not the best person in the world, but I'm going to let my, my, my work going to speak for itself. My work is going to speak louder than anything else. And I'm a, you, can't, you could probably deny me, but you would not deny my work. And that's where I'm at today in my life. So I, I just continue to write. The stories come to me. They might come to me right now just talking. It's just amazing how they come. And once they're in my head, I write them. But a lot of people want to know how my books are, relate, uh, are being so relatable to people. And they don't realize a lot of people write children's books from the outside looking in. I'm writing children's books from the inside looking out. I help my mom uh, set up the cash room. I heard her read to kids. I watch how they respond. I watch how she asks questions. So my books are more... Uh, uh, for us, like uh, hands on, hands on, Experience. because right. I've been there, and, I, and, 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 and and that's what I'm trying to put in these books. And the kids are responding real well Absolutely. to them. Absolutely. Well, we wish you the best of luck with your book signings this weekend. Yeah, <laughs> or Starbucks too. <laughs>